Hello, spiritual singers on this last two brain Tuesday. A lovely day to rejoice in spite of all that is trying to come up against us. It's a mending and it's a shaping. But I threw out the midnight hour. I began to commune and began to review Satan. And it came to my attention that I'm in a reducing relationship. Satan has my God in his clutches. Just living our word in an incubus there. He beat me, then he treat me, shower me with diamonds and pearls. So I asked God, what must I do to remove this residue stench from this world? of being tossed about relationship from work relationship in this cold, cold world. El Shaddai replied, you have not sit, you have not sat with me until it shifted. So as I began to think in my mind and look back on my life so I know what to cast down at God's feet so that I can take up God's yoke for his yoke is easy and his burden is light. I recall back maybe like 2013, 2014, that God showed me a long road. And down that long road, he says on the other side of that road is your husband. But before you can get there, when I looked down that long road, I mean the road was, the road was stretched, stretched wide, but it was so much junk and it was so much mess that I mean just stuff everywhere. So as I'm growing in Christ and I'm praying in God and seeking God and falling and getting back up and still calling and welling out of my belly up to God, I began to see junk moving out the way and time shifting and divine alignment coming into play. And not quite understanding the pain, but realizing the pain will draw you in. And as the as the jump began to move out the road, the uncleanness and the jump became to just clutter nothing but my surroundings. It began to clutter me so much to where it almost had me in a dysfunctional mind state. And the whole while I'm study pressing into God's presence, I'm study pressing into God's presence. God says, if you do not sit in me. You're going to, you're literally going to lose it. And what good are you if you have lost it and you're not functioning properly in your mind to have a mate when you can't even care for your surroundings? You got to learn how once you move this thing, once these things begin to move out of your way, because it's going to try to go somewhere. You got to know how to begin to cleanse yourself because you it's a cleansing process. You have to stay cleansed and you have to stay in the presence of God. So it's a it's a breaking, it's pain, and it's drawing. Because how can you minister to somebody else when you can't even minister to yourself? And you can't even minister and sit in the word long enough in the name of Jesus. And God began to just bring to my remembrance Mary sitting at Jesus' feet. Because he says, whenever uh, Martha came and was asked Jesus, um, are you not concerned that she's not helping me serve? What's the use of serving when you have not sat with Jesus long enough in the name of Jesus? Because he, he, he looked at Martha and he says, that's not a, of a need. What's a, what is a need of is what she's doing right now and that's sitting in my feet. Because this right here will not be taken away from her. So I, I thought about it and I waited out. Lord, I'd rather have King Jesus than silver and gold. Lord, I'd rather have a relation, right relationship with you, Christ Jesus, than to be falling into the arms of man and, and can't even wonder why things wonder why things is falling apart because we never got it right with him in the first place in the name of Jesus. And that's all Christ is asking for is for us to seek him and to get it right with him. And he'll draw all men unto him. He'll draw that husband that you're looking for. He'll draw that that what whatever it is that you desire for the ministry and for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. God will bring it into right standing, right down divine alignment when you sit down in Christ long enough. He said, I heard him say, just so profoundly, because you have not sit 
in me long enough. Are you sitting? And even now I'm convicted because I've been doing everything that I could do today. Taking bits and pieces, just little chunks and bites out of the word and bring it back to my remembrance. No, sometimes you solely got to sit down and be still. So let's, let's together be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. And we're going to work on it. We're going to begin to um, speak and decree and declare, declare that that distract, spirit of distraction, spirit of procrastination, you can't stay here. Because God did not give us a spirit of uh, distraction nor a spirit of uh, procrastination. It's a sound mind and peace. If you're discombobulated and you're dysfunctioning in your mind, that's God trying to bring you into his presence. So let's draw near to Christ Jesus and wait upon the Lord. Because he shall renew our strength. And those who wait upon the Lord, he shall pour you out of our for And everything will begin to align in what it is that God desires for you to align in in this time and in this season. Y'all be blessed. I'm finna pray. Pray and study and pray and study until it's time for us to come together and for praise and worship. Y'all be blessed.